All right, what's up guys? We're here at the Creation Museum today in the Relevance exhibit. We're gonna be giving people a pop quiz challenge to see if they can answer the questions correctly. And if they do, they get a prize. They get the Tower of Babel uh, book here written by Bodie Hodge. And we're also gonna be giving away our new book, The Tower, written by Yvonne Krell. I'm Rocket Rob. And so, all right, let's get started. No pressure, come on guys, no pressure. You guys can do it. These, these questions are really easy. I bet you can do it. All right, so we're gonna start off here with the pop quiz challenge, y'all ready? So this is on the Tower of Babel. You guys have heard of the Tower of Babel before? All right, so we're gonna start off with this one here. What chapter of Genesis contains the Tower of Babel accounts? Is it chapter one, chapter six, chapter 11, or chapter 33? All right, so, so they're still thinking right now. They're still brainstorming on this answer. Let's, let's see what they come up with. 11. Is that, is that your final answer? Yes. Chapter 11 is correct. Good job. <laughs> All right, let's do another one here. In what land was the Tower of Babel located? Was it in Shinar or Shinar, uh, Canaan, Ararat, or Samaria? Hmm. All right, so they're gonna brainstorm again here on this next question. What do you guys think? You got one in four chance at least. You got 25% chance probability you're gonna get it right. Shinar. That's right, good job. That's two. Let's get one more, okay? How did God punish the builders of the Tower of Babel? Was it A, famine, B, disease, C, confused language and scatter them, or D, a global flood? Is that your final answer? Good job, three for three, there, look at that. So congratulations, so you guys get a book. Would you like the, um, we have a new one called The Tower by Yvonne Krell, or we also have our one by Bodhi Hodge here. Which one would you guys like? That's it, okay. Do we have the, the quiz master here, huh? The guru. All right, I'll give him some hard ones. According to Genesis chapter 10, in whose days was the earth divided? Was it in the days of Joseph, the days of Jeremiah, the days of Abraham, or the days of Peleg? The earth was divided? Peleg. Final answer? You got it. D, the days of Pele. Good job. Let's see how much uh, scripture he really knows here. What is the Hebrew word for tower? Is it A, Adonai, B, Agape, C, Yom, or D, Migdal? No, I'd say D. Final answer? Yeah. Good job. It is D. Look at this. We got a guru right here. We got to find a really hard one here. Around how many language families came out of the Tower of Babel? Was it A, 7,000, B, at least 78, C, 650, or D, 8? That's a hard one. Is that A? Yeah, A is 7,000, B is 78, C is 650, D is 8. 7,000, is that your final answer? Oh, it's actually at least 78. So you think about the language families that came out, right? Yeah, so in terms of those language families that came out from the Tower of Babel from there, they actually went and created all the languages there. So um, it's all right. Let's go ahead and see if we can redeem you here. How many races of mankind came from the Tower of Babel? Was it A, dozens, B, four, C, hundreds, or D, one? Now the key word there is races. That's right, there's one race, the human race. We all go back to Adam and Eve and Noah and his family. So one human race. Congratulations, you guys win a free book. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and stand right here. You are gonna be on video, it's okay. It won't, it won't be hard, these will be easy questions. So, what did God accomplish by confusing human languages? Was it A, filling the earth with people, B, creation of multiple races of people, C, destruction of the Tower of Babel, or D, forbidding, forbidding teamwork among people? I would say, really B, but it was to spread the people out. So, yeah, so A, filling the earth with people? Yes. Okay. Good job, Marianne. You got it right. The builders of the Tower of Babel wanted to A, honor God, B, build for fun, C, defy God and make a name for themselves, or D, fill the earth. I say C. Final answer? Why? You're making me doubt. <laughs> okay. Well, they were wanting to all the way up to... No, you got it right. See, see, defy God. I just like to put a little pressure on you. 
All right, so we are officially all out of uh, Bodhi Hodges Tower of Babel books. So now all we got left here is our new kids book, The Tower Rip by Yvonne Krell. So we're gonna figure out a way to get rid of these ones here and try to pass them out to maybe people with kids or grandkids, uh, maybe homeschool families that are here. So stay tuned for that. Like you want a free kids book? What material was used to build the Tower of Babel? Was it A, baked brick, B, wood, C, iron, or D, stone? Brick. Final answer? Yeah. All right, that's right. Baked brick is the right answer. Nice job. When did the Tower of Babel event occur? Was it A, millions of years ago, B, around 2200 BC, C, around AD 400, or D, around 4000 BC? Around 4000 BC. You sure? Yeah. You want to change your answer? All right, so it was actually B, 2200 BC. It's okay, it's okay. At least you didn't say millions of years. <laughs> All right, let's see if you can redeem yourselves with an easy one here. Other than the tower, what else were the builders of the Tower of Babel trying to construct? Was it A, a football stadium, B, highway, C, city, or D, fortress? Fortress. You sure? Yeah. Final answer? Yep. Okay, it's actually C, a city. Sorry. <laughs> Should I just lead off with that? Do you have a grandkid? Do you have a grandchild? Why do people groups look so different from each other today? Was it A, God created multiple races of people? B, the gene pools were split apart at Babel? C, it's evidence of evolution? Or D, it's a result of the fall? D. Final answer? I'm just trying to make it sweat. All right, yep, that is the right answer. B, gene pools were split apart at Babel. You guys know your Bible, good job. We get a lifeline or call a friend No, not in this one. The builders of the Tower of Babel were guilty of which sin? A, building a tower, B, teamwork, C, working too hard, or D, pride of refusing the earth and making a name for themselves? Um, pride of refusing the earth. Yeah, you say D? All right, good job. Let's ask one more here. So, here's the big one, the most important one. Where is the most reliable information on the Tower of Babel? Is it A, archeology, span B, history books, C, Wikipedia, or D, the Bible? Bible. 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 Final answer? Yeah. Bible. That's right, the Bible. We need to be building all of our thinking on God's word, the Bible, including the Tower of Babel account. Here's the free book, the Tower. I hope you guys uh, enjoy the rest of your day here at the Creation Museum. Make sure you enjoy that nice weather out there as well. Thank you so much for coming. So that kind of wraps up our pop quiz challenge here. We ran out of books here, so we're going to be uh, ending now. But that was a fun time. We got to ask uh, a, a lot of fun questions with a lot of people here. We had a variety of different generations. So, um, yeah, and if you guys want the new Tower of Babel book that just came out, the Tower, uh, you can you can click on the link in the description below. You can also jump onto our website, answersofgenesis.org. You can order it there. And with that, God bless and thanks for watching.